Hi, it's Friday night. I didn't think I would be on here so fast, but um, I'm sitting here in my apartment in Brooklyn, and um, I'm at a point now where I should have been a long time ago, but I'm really, really at a point now where um, I am focusing on buying my own property. And to the young people out there, I want to stress how important it is to have your own. Because when you live on your own and you start living in apartments and you have to live, you know, below or above someone or in between, um, you know, there's going to come time where you want your peace. And you can't always have that because you have to share a not a space, but, you know, share a building. And some people do share a space. Some people rent and share a bathroom and, and kitchen, which I could not do. I, I think I did that once when I first moved to New York. Um, but now, more than ever, um, I just really am all about my peace. And, you know, I want to have property to pass down, having the family pass down, um, you know, just have an investment property. Um, you know, a home is a, a great investment. Um, whether you do a home or a condo, you know, some people don't want to buy a home and have a front and backyard maintenance and, you know, roof and other maintenances that, um, you have to tend to when you own a house you know, sewage and things like that. Like if you own a condo, um, you know, that's through a home association and um, they have a team that comes and takes care of repairs or anything that happens in that property. But anyway, I just wanted to stress that, like just focus on saving your money and, you know, if you're into buying stocks, buying and selling stocks, um, CDs, bonds, you know, things like that. Look, look into all of that, uh, financially have your 401k, your IRAs, you know, your money market accounts, things like that, but just have your, your credit and your money together because you definitely want to have your own property. And you want to, and if you can have more than one property, you know, you have a place where you stay and then you have other properties where you're getting residual income. You're constantly getting money. So I just wanted to say that that's my Friday night weekend tip, save and invest. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I was trying to, and I, I'm leaving this video because I was trying to take a nap before my overnight job that I have to be at. Well, that starts at 10. Um, so I was trying to have some, some sleep because I was up early today. And around 4 o'clock, when I wanted to take my nap, because I wanted to get a couple hours and then get up, you know, and start getting it together. I really probably slept maybe an hour, hour and a half but, um, you know, and unfortunately, I just don't feel like I'm in the position to say anything. Like, they're actually having a party downstairs. And it's my landlord that stays downstairs. So I can't, <laughs> you know, I just feel like there's just certain things that you can't say to landlord. You know what I mean? And it's a Friday night. So, you know, and they have a teenager down there. So anyway... If you want your peace, you have to prepare for your peace. You really do. If you want certain things in life, you have to start early. And my grandfather used to stress to me when I was 16, 15, 16, save your money, invest. And I didn't listen. And that's not something that my mother drove home in my mind. Uh, because that's not really what she was doing. So it just wasn't stressed 
once I left his house. Um, but I wish I had listened, you know, Be, but I'm telling you young people, if anyone in high school, college, early twenties, mid twenties, just really start saving your money from every check, pay yourself, pay yourself, put it aside, put it in an account where you're not going to touch it and you can just let it build and grow because when you buy a house, you definitely want to have your own money to put down on that house because then that will lessen the amount that you need to, um, if you have to get a loan, that will lessen the amount. And if you have a lot to put down, that will also decrease the interest rate. So anyway, um, I uh, recently...